Quincy Davis first came to Taiwan in 2011 to play in the local Super Basketball League. After helping his team clinch its first championship title in 2012 and being named Most Valuable Player, he renounced his U.S. citizenship and obtained Taiwanese citizenship. Three years ago, he became a vegan and saw a dramatic improvement in his health. Now he's even opened a vegan restaurant. Formosa News spoke to Davis about his restaurant and his life in Taiwan. The chef turns on the stove and drops meatballs made with beans and grains into the tomato sauce. Noodles and meatballs are boiled together until they're ready to eat. Slice the bread, place on the stove for two minutes, and then add lettuce and the meat patty to the bread. This restaurant special, Q Burger, is no ordinary burger. This meat patty is made using chickpea, mushroom, quinoa, and black beans. The menu, which includes burgers, spaghetti, desserts, and more, is wholly vegan. Welcome to my restaurant. The owner of this vegan restaurant is a professional basketball player. Davis first came to Taiwan in 2011 to play in the local Super Basketball League. After helping his team clinch its first championship title in 2012 and named Most Valuable Player, Davis played for Taiwan's national team. In 2013, he renounced his U.S. citizenship and became a Taiwan national. He has played a major role in elevating the international competitiveness of Taiwanese basketball. Besides a passion for basketball, he also has a passion for healthy eating. He became vegan three years ago, and he says that turning vegan changed his life. The biggest effect that it has is that it's given me um, a big boost of energy that I needed for sports. So I'm able to last longer, I'm able to run a bit faster, you know, no more sleepless nights. I have no choice but to say, you know, I want this for everybody. So why not open a, a, a restaurant so everybody can experience the uh, positive side effects that I have? It's a lot of preparation because with vegan food, all of it's fresh. It needs to be fresh and goes the day before, the night before, whether it's going to the market to buy fresh produce and it, it takes a lot of, a lot of preparations. Yeah. Now as a vegan restaurant owner, he says the transition has been difficult, but he credits his management style to the leadership skills he had learned as a player on the court. Being a team leader is what I prefer to call it. It's definitely been challenging because now the different changes or the different um, things that you do here affects everybody. Easy success is definitely positive energy positive attitude and and love. Um, I think a lot of our food is, is the presentation is very important. It's been six years since his naturalization and his ninth year of living in Taiwan. Aside from playing basketball, Davis also travels around Taiwan to mentor children. In 2016, he led a summer camp organized by an English cram school. He spent two weeks with a group of Taiwanese children in his hometown of Los Angeles. I'm very passionate about the, um, about the youth here. I think that's very important because the youth are our future. So with that being said, I want to try to teach them that you know, teach them the right way to take care of their body and the right way to live a healthy lifestyle and the right way to care about the environment. It's still warm, beautiful people. The safety hasn't changed. It's still one of the safest places in the world that I've ever traveled to. As a proud Taiwanese, Davis hopes to inspire the younger generation through sports and education. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Gongzhong Yi in Taipei.